Salutations everyone, I'm Herod Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in TWR, the Thousand Week Reich, in which we're playing as that GGR under the Fat Man, the Thick Fat Man, who is trying to institute quite a few reforms, but we just finished up the Gold Reserve, which we got uh, further minus 5% consumer goods factories, more construction speed, and more production efficiency cap. So at this point, <clears throat> I am looking for things in which we can get more consumer goods. That does not look like... We should really get that one for German air industry. Looks like it really hurts us. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Maintain the speed. That might be okay. Profits from companies might actually be something that we would really want because that could really help us out. Ooh, Lufthansa contractors unlocked. Factories, factories. Germany's unique system. We do want to get rid of economic recovery. Do we really want to get rid of economic recovery? Uh, let's see. Uh, German fem Why are German females toasters? Okay, well, whatever. German power struggle. Yes, yes, yes. Trust system, reform labor camps. And we've got a couple of to get through, but... Wait, hold on. Overextended supply lines. Why do we still have that? I mean, last time, I was from one of the comments that someone was surprised at how fast the Soviet Union was kind of, like, crushed and crumpled. Like, quite literally crumbled. I mean, it was great. I mean, look, Muscovine is huge now, which is awesome to see, but, you know, it is what it is. Economic recovery. Yeah, we probably want to get rid of economic recovery. So... Let's go get some more factories first. A considerable large state-run industrial conglomerate and the most celebrated position of the Fuhrer have been goring with its symbol even apparently being styled upon its personal coat of arms. The Reichswerk owns considerable large shares of steel refineries, coal plants in the Ruhr, and ore refineries in Lower Saxony, mainly from the cities of Salzgritter. <clears throat> its recent expansion contributed to a host of new mergers and acquisitions, ballooning it even further and continuing to increase its stake in the mine, mineral and resource extraction industries. The Reichswerk also boasts itself as the largest employer in Europe, with a staggering 700,000 employees, up even further from its long-held number of 500,000. Wow. Contributing an ample amount towards the economy, the Führer has stated his interest in collaborating with privately held businesses with his Reichswerk to interconnect various sectors of the industrial economy, allowing widespread benefits across the board. Wow. So, <clears throat> before we get into a couple, couple comments, I do want to say that I'm not sure if we're going to get a lot more events. It seems kind of... Maybe a little lacking at the moment. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. My goal is at least get through the economy tree and get through as many focuses as possible. Finish up the one over here with the, um, you know, the Reich. But at, try to get through everything as fast as possible just to get everything done. Just to say we've gotten everything done. Because I don't know the next time I'm actually going to play as Fim and Goldring in the next couple weeks or months. So, <clears throat> let's see. Can we choose? Oh, I really want to choose a factory here or a group here. But I like to get more artillery attack. I kind of like that. But I really, we, we really can't afford consumer, more consumer goods factories because we still can't build. We still can't build in 58. After we won, after there was no civil war, after we beat the USSR, after we beat Norway. I mean, sure, Norway isn't a really strong power, but, you know, that's still okay. Oh, tank. And actually, uh, wrong group. That's kind of an okay group. Uh, Heinz. So, yeah, last time we did beat up the, uh, the dudes. Uh, Hero Day, great. Love Hero Day. What are we not making? Carrier fighters. Wait, what? What do you, I mean, off-screen, what do you mean we don't have carrier fighters? Do we... I mean, we have, you know, jet, CV, jet fighters. We have fighters right here, game. Okay, well, whatever. Obviously, last time the war really took us out quite a bit, so we ha have to recover more. <clears throat> the UK recognizes the Delhi government. An interesting development, to say the least. Uh, well, the Republic of India is still here with Hyderabad still doing their thing. Well, whatever. So another comment from yesterday, or at least the first one was, why did I intervene in between the war with the USSR <clears throat> and Reich's Commissar at Muscovine? Oh, I own this. Okay. Uh, the reason I didn't intervene is because I wasn't allowed to. I literally had no... I couldn't do anything about it. I could not intervene. The game forces you to not intervene, so you just have to watch your people die. It's unfortunate. But oh well. Conglomerate packs. The conglomerates already reap rewards for economy on their own, but an interesting proposal has been laid out before the Führer's office lately. Perhaps even more growth can be achieved in the f if the conglomerates meet with each other and form packs, so to speak. Several of them could group together, combining a variety of industries or clumping together many within the same market, allowing for innovation on products, the advancements of production methods and technology, and establishing intercorporate trade contracts and agreements, benefiting all who partake in them. The plan is nothing short of genius. With our Führer grinning ear to ear at such splendid proposals, even joking at his failure to not think of such an idea first. And we get a whole whopping two more civilian factories. <sighs> hmm. Big sadness. Actually, lowering this by 10% more would be pretty good as well. Especially if we get more stability, that would be very good. Uh, we're on war economy, highly industrialized economy as well. 
welfare programs would be good to maybe mo modify oversized creeks we need to get rid of we here's day honestly you know even though it's 58 we've been in the game for like six years it's still running pretty smoothly which is really nice we can get through things pretty quickly we're going to show our art gallery once again with a public exhibition more political power really get one percent more stability which is really nice um improve worker conditions at this point we can't even use factories so you might as well escort patrols nice uh i guess we keep doing undersea blockade just in case our navy gets attacked someday so care battle groups even more organization that looks we got like a lot of 20 plus 20 organization throughout this entire time here which is really nice but kind of questionable i guess what i would say as well it's not even 1960s so we can't even make better battleships yet so we might as well have a little bit of fun time with them i guess might as well. I'm not sure if I'll actually even be able to use the Navy. But we might as well try to have fun with whatever we have. You know, let's make a battle cruiser. I like battle cruisers. Mm, heavy guns. Heavy guns are nice. Float plane catapults. Let's save it real quick. Uh, let's grab some more anti air. And another heavy battery. There we go. Uh, not deployable. Mayday? Cool. I love Mayday. Um, what does it mean not deployable? I have, I have uh, some confusion. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, actually, I don't want you, I don't want you to go to that group. You've already gone to that group plenty enough times. Reserve Fleet to Hamburg. Uh, let me go to that one instead, actually. For now, you guys can also go to this one because they don't have enough screens. Auto? Hmm. Seems like maybe a little bugged, but it is what it is. Experimental helicopters. We're probably not going to use those. Attack jet bombers we might use them but even now we don't have enough factories so i'm not really too concerned okay so another comment from yesterday is, someone recommends i play as goebbels kind of at the beginning of this campaign i wanted to you know spam on goebbels but it just didn't work out so it is what it is i would like to but we'll see what happens maybe it's been fixed lufthansa expansion the flag carrier of the reich lufthansa is the largest airline in germany considered by some to be the second largest in europe the airline itself is a face of german tourism with its fleet of planes including new sleek jetliners ferrying tourists to and fro from various international airports across the world the swastikas on their tail fence emblazoned proudly for all to see with both economic benefit and propaganda opportunities seemingly going hand in hand with such an industry it has come at no surprise for the new government's plan to expand the large airliner lufthansa is the edifice of the reich's prowess and tourism goring stated before our luncheon with his shareholders it shows that we are a modern nation and not repugnant backwaters as the West so devilishly likes to portray us as. We must bolster this growth and then some. If our Luftwaffe control the skies for combat, so can Lufthansa control the skies commercially. Smart I thinking. Smart I thinking. Smart thinking. And I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Region-wide integration, industrial integration isn't bad, but there's really no point to do it. Mm -hmm. oh, combat unit destruction. I love working on my air doctrine. Uh, we'll grab some key point bombing. Strategic bombing, even though I'm not even going to use it. That's okay. Tactical exploitation. Now, that's something we could use. Assault concentration. Yes, more organization for tanks and soft attack. As well as motorized and all mechanized and all that good type of good stuff. Infantry equipment is looking phenomenal now. More than enough infantry equipment for us to use. Uh, that's the case. Lowry by 10. Because we must share the wealth. Share the infantry equipment wealth. And maybe get some rubber. Can we get some rubber from Malaysia, maybe? Maybe you just even just one no okay, okay. Can I get one here? No. Oh, okay. I can't get anything. So it was recommended. That was really common from yesterday. I should go for nuclear power to prevent bad things from occurring. Uh, that, that's a good idea. I'm gonna wait to do some of this stuff. Uh, nuclear production speed. Less research time. Nuclear power plants are pretty good in my opinion. So oh, level two. M R R B M. Cool. You might. You know what? We might as well. We might be in a pseudo cold war. Cold War with the U.S. or China or Japan or someone, but it is what it is. But the Russian Republic is looking pretty good. <clears throat> I wonder if they're going to come knocking someday. They might be. The Russian will. Hmm, that's pretty good. More construction speed. They're bet they're propped up by the U.S. So we'll see what happens. Chinese advi Chinese advisor. That's this is a weird timeline where China has better army or military staff than Russia, but it makes sense since the Republic of China just came out of a civil war. So. Hmm. And they have American general staff too, so. Prop the bow of the U.S. Great. Uh, someone recommended I finish off this campaign quickly just because at the time of this recording, there's going to be more updates coming out, so I 
I understand. I this, either this will, or the next one will be probably the last episode, maybe depending on how many focuses we can get through. But let's expand our air might. Our Luftwaffe is the largest air force in Europe. No doubt, fighting to obtain a spot for such a title globally as well. Our fighters have been cut down countless and or have cal cut down countless enemies effortlessly, creating a beautiful array of fireworks and destruction upon the skies. Our bombers have laid waste to the festering hotbeds of degeneracy and Judeo Bolshevism. Our close air support fighters have assisted the men on the ground valiantly, fighting countless times. It is no doubt that we have corrected a well-disciplined and strong air force to rule over and stoically protect the skies. The Fuhrer <coughs> himself is a veteran of the Air Force, and a man who has long loved his Luftwaffe. As such, Goring has met with military leaders to discuss the plans for further expansion of the Air Force alongside the modernization of equipment and doctrines, so that Germany can continue to cut through the clouds, watching her proud people and their cities below. We get a couple of Junkers, only 75. Uh, they're probably expensive, but is that all? Albert C. testimony. I mean, it doesn't matter. We got so much political power. I mean, how much should we get a day? 1.44. It's not bad. More exhibitions? American German Summit in Progress, huh? You know what? <clears throat> With these focuses that we're kind of blazing through right now, we have de escalation. Now, I'm thinking we could go focusing eastwards because we might be able to get the option to take out Russia, which would be a lot of fun. We kind of profited by the US, but unlocks the decisions to wage war against the Russians. That might be fun still. United against communism, but we already technically took out communism. We can have diplomatic ties instead. And peace in our time. We can really go with the whole reform and Germany wants to be peaceful route with Goring after we took out these guys. Um, I'm not really sure. Which one should I go? Let me know in the comments below. Should I go focusing eastward and united against communism? Or diplomatic ties... And peace in her time, if possible, because we have to do de-escalation. So, if we do de-escalation, it'll probably force us to go to either one route. So, I'm not going to do de-escalation now, <clears throat> but it is what it is. Uh, ooh, black ships, we might do that. In which we get more daily political power, less weekly manpower, which looks like it really sucks for 400 days. Wow. Uh, more stability, though. Less monthly population. It is what it is, but let me know. Which path, which way should we go? Yeah, we. I probably should have gone down this way as well first. Carry battle groups. Oh, we definitely should have... Oh, my bad. Eh, whatever. Convoy sailing? Sure, why not? We have the best navy. Undersea blockade? Great. How about convoy interdiction? <clears throat> that sounds like a very good thing. <clears throat> ah, expanding our air might. Very good. And overseas evidence? Good. Uh, let's see. We honestly... Ooh, actually, it's not bad. I don't want to lose political power yet, but that's immediately... Great power struggle. Hmm... Requires all of the following. So, I guess we'll try to finish up this side first. So, the shoot stuff in Burgundy. The SS has long been a pain in the side of Germany. They bitch and bitch about our degenerate behavior and how it's ruining the sanctity of the Aryan race. Though for now it's only amounted to strong words and occasional hollow threats, we need to satiate them before they do something that could seriously harm the Reich. We decided to carve them out a piece of land under the conquered lands of eastern France called Burgundy, and hopefully that'll get them to be more compliant. <clears throat> no, should I get political power? Uh, good for them, I guess. Good for them. Even on war economy, we still can't do anything. I am I wish we could go total mobilization. We could go to partial mobilization, but that'd be kind of a waste for us. We don't even need more manpower right now, but... Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. And we have 100% support for the party. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a bug. Ex overextended supply lines. I mean... Maybe Muscovy's overextended? Oh, let's see. Um, actually, oh, you're at, hold on. Did I not core some? Oh, I did not core some. Oh, that's not good. You know what? I know this is probably a bad idea. They sh I probably really shouldn't core it. But they have everything else cored, so we might as well core this for them. And they already suffered enough casualties here. And I don't think I'm going to really call Muscovy into any more of my wars. So, and honestly, since this is, this is basically my first real run with this mod, Thousand Week Reich, I think it's okay to just kind of explore things out, so we're going to do that. Well, let's get Naval tor Strike Torpedo Tactics, that'd be good. Thank you. Go ahead and just core whatever. Just I don't want to see them have zero manpower. They shouldn't have much manpower at all, but having all this place since we gave it to them, it should be fir firmly under their control, especially since I did core some territory, not all the territory, but I did core some of this territory, maybe not that piece, uh, for the Russian Republic. Part of me says the Russian Republic should have part of this cord because, you know, they're, part, they're Russian, you know, it's a big old continent of Russia. But at the same time, it's been a while since they actually own territory here, so I didn't core everything. I cored a lot of stuff, so that's my justification for coring this area here. Yeah, Gorky. Oh, yeah, Rizan. Uh, they're kind of okay there. I can core that and then core that, and we'll probably be done. They should have enough manpower to help put down resistance and stuff like that. So. 
Uh, we can do ground support integration. More ground support would be very nice. Because we just did the bombs. Public exhibition. Cool. Let's go ahead and do consolidation of power. For sure, forcing our legislation works fine. We have no intention of stopping. But giving the people the illusion of choice could be beneficial to everyone. And the great power struggle shall soon, very, very soon, actually, be over. Diplomatic decisions. Uh, I can send some support. Uh, can we send some to Muscovy? Auslan. Yes. There you go. Well, maybe I lied. Maybe I'm going to do one more. Actually, let's take a look, because I want them to have at least a little bit of manpower. Striving for Aryan ship. Okay, they still have no manpower. Oh. Uh, they are on... Oh, God, they're already... Oh, I might have to do more, because they're already on service by requirement. It's not like they fought that hard in the war, either. I kind of do hope, still, that we get into another conflict. Oh! Italy's going to war with Albania. But then again, it's socialist Albania, so I don't think any, anyone really wants to help them out, so... Uh, can we see resistance this way? Well, this is just for us. 0%, 0%, that's what we like to see. Another infantry division. Very good, very good, very good. Looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Looking pretty darn good. Uh, I think I already checked most of the assault concentrations. Great. And now we have Kampfgruppe? No, independent formations. Better supply grace. Better recovery rate and more organization. That's awesome. But now we're running out of army XP, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I think we pretty much court everything. But even then, they still have no manpower. Right? Minimal, minimalist. Minimalistic administration, huh? Ah, there goes Albania. Okay, so they get less man, less political power. Quite a bit less political power. Wow, but more stability. And then eventually they get less consumer goods. Okay. Resume basic operations. Well, a turn of stability. It is what it is. Actually, how's Ukraine doing? Because we saved them as well. New structure, huh? New SS structure. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do the next focus. With, improve the public agendas, or agencies. Our public agencies are critically overwhelmed and underfunded. Bureaucracy isn't pleasant, but it's necessary for any government to function. We will divulge more funds to protect or improve these vital tools and raise the pay to attract new employees. Get more stability, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing, you know. Send some more support. Um, chemical research, at this point, we might as well do it. Get more research speed. We're going to remove chem facility. Is that like kind of supposed to be like Strangeheim or something? Or is that code word for something? I don't think so, but it might be. Hmm. How's this nation doing? Because we liberated Transvolga last time. Olega Azarov. Kind of cool. Colonial industrial quotas. Okay. Ah, finishing up that naval doctrine is a very nice thing to do. Oh, almost done. Submarine defensive is very good. And then we have integrated convoy defense. Beautiful. Overseas testimonies. Kind of a waste to do that. Oh, yeah, we still own Norway. I wish we had the option to, like, liberate Rex Commissar. It's Nor Norwegian, but then again, they rebelled. So I guess I kind of understand why we don't have them here. And actually, you guys have military police, which you did put that on. Do we have any armored cars? Anti-tank. Oh, that's nice. Anti-tank is looking real nice. I don't want to lower it by too much, but we might have to. There we go. Not bad. We need so much rubber, though. So much rubber. Medium tanks. Are we still using medium tanks in these tank divisions? Uh, I'll do this one first. Cool. And then not profits from companies, but attention to the public. Let's not forget, let the people forget that we hear their concerns and enact some more token reforms to ease their minds. No need to rock the boat. Can we, can we build anything yet? No, we can't build anything yet. Oh, why do you pain me so much? The German economy, why? Why do you pain me? Cool. Uh, ship's looking okay. Let's see, over here, let's go back to the tanks. Okay, so we're not using any medium tanks, which is... Well, hold on. Maybe that's a lie. Maybe we are using medium tanks somewhere. Because we'd get the little things like, oh, you're making medium tanks. But you have no divisions that are using them. Why is this 21 combat width? What the heck? Uh, strategic destruction? Don't mind if I do. Really don't mind if I do. Public exhibition? More daily political power? Why not? At some point, you gotta ask yourself. We can, we can show off all art. Like, do we eventually run out of unique art pieces? Because, I mean, I'm sure people are making art now in Goring's Germany, but... How much new art do we have? Ground support integration. Cool. How about battlefield support? Looks great. 
Very cool, very cool. Let's see, come on, man. Please, please. Oh, new rocket sites. How is bugging you? Oh, hold on. Um, has this always... Hmm. What is it? Hmm. You know what? I've already messed with this enough. This is my first campaign. I'm going to go ahead and core this for them. It seems like this this part should be core for them. I don't want them to lose manpower. Uh, I mean, maybe it's not fully under their administration, but I'm going to core it anyways. It, it's definitely, at this point, probably Germanized enough. I don't want to see Himmler. He's already on the surface by requirement. It's like the Rex Commissariat. It's like, I know that you don't have that much manpower, but still. Take you to the public. Heroes Day. Oh, we're still we're not doing bad. We're still not doing too bad behind the United States. Great, we did that. Confident government. Um, we could do that, but let's do this one. Introduce deportation. We've installed a work program for the Untermensch, but they are willing, to, unwilling to work for us. Perhaps we offered them a reward that would be more inclined to work and have a divided. A most suitable reward. Any person who is currently in a work camp who works for five years will be allowed to immigrate to any nation outside the Reich or her international holdings. Not a bad thing. Chemical research? Yes, please. Because we still can't use this. No matter what I do. No matter what we try. We still, still don't have enough factories. So the next one we can probably get rid of is uh, probably not war economy. Chemical research obviously was a bad choice to make. Having 100% stability does help you get more factories to use. Uh, oversized Kriegsmarine, economic recovery, welfare programs. Even though we already basically adjusted welfare programs, uh, we can't really lower that any further. So, next up, we'll probably be trying to do Germany's unique system to get rid of that. Combat ready. <clears throat> I'll probably go with the Kriegsmarine, just so we can get a massive navy to get rid of oversized Kriegsmarine, just because it hurts us so much. Um... I wonder what the U.S. is doing. They're led by Patton, but are like they, are they doing anything? Super curious. That looks really cool. I like that. Uh, how is Vietnam looking? Like Laos Democratic Republic, King, Kingdom of Cambodia, Thailand, Burma. Come on, can we get some sort of conflict going on around here, please? Are there any wars going on? It seems awfully peaceful for the 19 late, very late 50s, almost early 60s. But we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Turkey. Turkey looking a little thick here. Ah, the greater Syrian sea, that's why. Uh, Israel's looking pretty normal. Okay, so we're going to read about that. We'll do that in just a little bit after we do projects from the companies. I don't want to lose political power, but whatever. The economic reports and monthly statistics have begun recently pouring into the fifth year's office from the economics ministry. Out of pure joy, or perhaps too much opium. <clears throat> Well, not opium. He kicked his addiction. Gold ring has bounced up and down his private quarters, giddy as a child. Okay. Profits have seen an all-time high after replacement or re-implementation of laissez-faire economics and an establishment of a freer market economy once again in Germany. Some foreign companies from our fiercest adversaries also seem quietly started trading with the German companies for the first time in years. Along with renewed interest of foreign investment, German expansion into foreign markets has risen considerably in recent months, and with the Scandinavian countries and Southeast Asian markets trading more increasingly since the reforms. All in all, the maneuvering and tireless work by our fear and is in reshaping the economy into something truly great has borne the sweetest fruit imaginable. Cool. Let's come over here. And we're done with our naval doctrine. Love it. Let's grab some new helicopters. Do we have a 3D model? Well, that doesn't look like a helicopter to me. But you know what? I wear glasses. Maybe I'm just blind. <clears throat> the black ships. As the cost of maintaining cruisers grow higher than its value, the Reichsmarschall has allowed some of Germany's captives to board his ship, preparing his new image as a reformer and humanitarian. Ah, yes, he's definitely humanitarian, I guess, now. Authorities were ordered to turn a blind eye on certain elements, carefully constructing a facade that German goring is radically different than their leaders before. Hopefully this action can be used as leverage for the future de-escalation with the Western powers. They'd better be grateful. <clears throat> I wonder what Himmler right now is thinking about all this. Like, is he see he he's got to be seeing what's going on here. Sure, he has a little Burgund, and we have a little Gotenland with, with Daddy Hadrish, but he's got to be seeing like what's going on. Long range, high yield, huh? What is bomber? Oh, bomber Julia. I thought it was a bomber quality. I'm like, how do you get more quality on your bombers? That looks really cool. Special forces. That looks um pretty good. I wouldn't say amazing, but that's pretty good for the Marines and paratroopers. But I don't, almost never use paratroopers. They're okay. I'm gonna go with airland strikes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't almost never use paratroopers because they, they cost resources to make, and I could use them, but I'd much prefer having a massive air force and just demolishing enemies like that. I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Can I, even without chemical factories, we still can't use this. 
I might be forever stuck doing that. Uh, let's see. Osland, Ukraine, Muscovine. Cool. Do they have anything here that's not cord? How about down here? How's this looking? Astrashan? God, I'd love to build something. If you follow, you know, this channel at all, you know I love building infrastructure. And I can't even do that, which makes me really sad. Very sad. How are the supplies, though? Anti tank looking great. Strategic destruction looking great. Let's grab some forward interception. For better interception detection. Great. The best planes. Do we have any extra planes now? No. No, we don't. Mm, big sadness. We don't have enough factories, man. We just don't. Which makes sense why we shouldn't have enough. Hey, actually got enough support equipment now, which is good. Mechanized looking okay. Guns looking okay. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do what I'm about to do, but I'm going to need to do it. Actually, it's not that bad. Go down to five. It's fine. Perhaps from the companies. Maybe that'll give us enough incentive to do something. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, let's go and do air production quotas. A penal colony system. Eh, why not? Penal factories. One of the most simplest and most easily exploitable forms of labor is that of the penal sector. These men, occasionally women, do nothing but sit around in their cells all day, lamenting about various trivialities when they could be, be being used to, for our economy and work. There's an incentive or an entire workforce out there that is perfectly expandable and ripe to be replaced with someone who can easily achieve the same things they did with the smallest of encouragement. It is not only incredulous that we have been looking, making less use of such a fact, but downright idiotic that we have not been actively contributing to our growth of our economy through such means. It is not our concern if they live or die working. What is our concern is whether the job gets done no matter how many of them it takes. I am quite the humanitarian, as you know. And now we're done with their air doctrine. Cool. Engineering, well, we can't do anything until 1960, which is almost 1960. And 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, can't do anything here. Uh, nuclear stuff? Uh, I don't want to lower my research speed. Oh, do I want to be a war criminal or not? Mm. Trickle back, I like that trickle back. Strategic bombing, kind of, I don't care about. Artillery attack, 20%. That is just... Mm. But you do get better stats here for artillery anyways. For In degrees. Oh, reasons. Oh... I know I shouldn't click on this stuff. I really shouldn't do it. Mm hmm. Research speed, research speed. This all just hurts research speed. So, it's okay stuff. Strategic bombing. I like the trickle back too much. 5% is not great. <sighs> Lethal chemicals. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I'm, I'm running out of things to research, by the way, so that's why I'm researching it. I don't know my mind, I'm running out of things to research until 1960, which is coming up very, very soon. Oh, yes, yes, please. 50, there's 15% 15 attack? That that was like when 1.9.0 came out for Hoi 4, like, then Paradox nerfed it to 10%. It's not a huge nerf, but I'll gladly take it. Alright, so what's going on over here with the ships? Ooh, look at that. Another heavy cruiser. But it's really a light cruiser. Hmm, go figure. If you have new ships that need to get trained, go right ahead. If you have new ships that need to get trained, it looks like some of the subs do. Oh, wait, why is there a heavy cruiser? Hold on, there's a heavy cruiser here. What the heck? Yeah, you go there. You? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you have some subbies that can work. You can get worked on. Um, overseas testimonies, why not? You do it all the time. Operations? Might as well. <gasps> Look at that! We got it! Oh, oh, yeah, you okay, Bink? I'm joining you with my cat, Binky. He's, he's sleeping in the sunshine. I woke him up with my clapping. Binky, yeah, you okay? We can actually build roads! Having laissez-faire economics lets us build roads. It only took us seven years to figure that out. Let's get some guns. STGs, dry and Dreisish. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. What? What a thing! We can actually build roads! I love penal factories. Oh, okay. Fun the bomb? That might be fun. Quotas, oat system. Let's do that one, the old system. Let's fair economics is an economic model as old as time. It has served countless nations perfectly since its implementation, and the reaping of benefits from it has been a much celebrated endless loop of success. Germany has shied away from such policies a long time ago, favoring the old state intervention model popularized by von Bismarck and the like. But now times have changed. The Fuhrer and his father, the German, uh, the new German nation, Hitler, rest eternally, departed gracefully from this earth. And now, new, now, now, I can't speak, my apologies. 
New management is in charge. Leadership that is recognized that sometimes one must adapt with the rest of the world to equally see success. And such adaptation is rather uh, humorously and paradoxically the return to that aforementioned old system. Go figure. But God, we, get, we can build roads! Germany can actually improve its own infrastructure even though we just lost two more factories because we made two more military factories. Wow! Wow, this is a call for celebration. Someone break out the champagne. Um, if we get rid of economic recovery, oversized Kriegsmarine, Oh yeah, look at the comp company's profits. It hurts our political power, but that's okay with me, you know. One point. Hold on, 1.59? We were at 1.44. Oh, I don't want to do that now, because that could really hurt us. Um, well, it doesn't really hurt us. But, uh... uh death... Oh, hello! Mussolini's gone. We'll see what happens, but... Benito! Bye-bye, Benito! Have a good life. Oh, I guess you're dead, but, you know, whatever. Um, forced deportations... Oh, we're going to lose monthly, or weekly manpower, and monthly population. And it'll be removed by 1960, July 19th. Yeah, look at that. Uh, company's profits? Minus 0.2, but we ended up getting almost plus... Uh, plus 0.2, so... Um, sure, I'll take it. I'll gladly take it, my friends. I will gladly take whatever comes our way that we can use and... Use to our advantage, we'll put it like that. Alright, so you guys, you guys are infantry fighting vehicles. Like I said before, their armor is so weak. I mean, sure, they're not great. They're like light tanks, and light tanks are okay, but, you know. Mm. Upper class policies? There does it, to some extent, an upper class in Germany. Or there exists. The rich and powerful aristocratic societies of Germany remain unchanged from the Weimar era, a minuscule window into the past, so to speak. But it's rather small in a nation where everyone can see themselves as the great stalwarts of the Aryan peoples, from the lowly suit-covered coal miner to in the rear to the dashing dress in the nines, financier and Germania. It is only just that we develop such policies to expand a class that truly represents Germany as illustrious as it is. The bourgeoisie contribute far and wide to our economy. <coughs> And their privileged vacations to London, Montreal, New York, L.A. They are, face, they are the face of German exceptionalism. We must reward these great men and women for being the shining star of Aryan peoples, showing that one can be great if they w wish to be so as well. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Why not? Chemical research? Uh, we can't afford that right now. Keep. Oh, we have six we can use. Uh, build up. We might actually build up some more civilian factories first. And we're done with our uh, factory there. Let's go ahead and get some Cobra or Rakaten Baffa. Shoulder fired missile incorporating the design improvements and heat rounds. Yes, please. Very much yes. Looking good. Looking good. Support equipment looking pretty good. Medium. We're still making medium tanks. Uh, let's get rid of those medium tanks. We probably don't need them, honestly. Casas tungsten that we could use probably elsewhere. God dang, we need more rubber. Good lord. Siano takes power. Oh boy. We'll see what happens. How many things. Oh my goodness. Let's build at least one road in Zaxxon, and then we'll see what we can do. Chemical research, yeah, not really much what we can do with that. But man, we can actually build stuff. And let's look at our faction. Does anyone want to join the faction? Hungary, maybe? Slovakia? New Ordnung? Um, we're looking pretty thick, not gonna lie. This is this is pretty nice. That's, and we got all the fuel from Baku. Too bad Romania's not with us. Mediterranean Pact. Oh, wait, who took over? Oh, Italy just took it over. They don't even have cores on it. They just, like, direct rule from Rome. How's Egypt looking right now? Oh, Farouk, you're looking kind of cool. Kind of a big old oval head, but you know, whatever. Let's see. Spanish state led by Plas Pinar. They're still fascists. Liberalized market economy. Labor camps, of course they would. We still have high influence. Okay. I wasn't notified of that, but happy 1960, my friends. It's a new decade. New decade, new year for us. Let's not do that one yet, just because... Uh, Oh, we could get modified economic reforms. Ah, I have to do that. Sweat makes profits. It's a simple idea to grasp. Even the smallest of children. Toil, sweat, makes profit. Through our hardworking men and women in all manners of employment within the Reich, their sweat, blood, and tears drive the economy forward. Through their strength, we can enjoy, experience joy. The motto, to some extent, of our nation's most su successful state-run tourism program. Such benefits are absolutely deserved to the lower class and middle classes of Germany. One should be able to experience leisure and comfort for the fruits of their labor, of which the nation greatly thinks them. It is through many hands that work for the economy that sees benefit and growth. Sweat brought us a stronger currency, sweat brought us an expanded economic and trade zones for the Reichsmark, and sweat brought us a renewed implementation of a truly free market for the Reich. Which we get 50% more construction speed for 150 days, which isn't bad, but we can't really take care of that or get really use that yet. Uh, let's go and, uh, uh, you could do that. Let's do many. How long would that take? Until June? We might as well try that, I suppose, for now. We might as well. Actually, you know what? With this highly industrialized economy, 15% consumer goods. I mean, it's not bad. Ooh, before we... 
SCG. Good, 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 good. Happy 1960, my friends. It's going to be a great year. Let's go ahead and do the decisions. Yeah, what happened to the decisions for improving core industrial areas? I really kind of wonder what happened to that. Uh, cap growth, mutually exclusive. Um, max factories in a state, free repair, factory repair speed. Let's do this one first, construction three, so we can build things a little bit faster. I think that'd be really good to do for us. Hey, we've got better guns, though. I'm not going to probably build motorized rocket artillery. I'm kind of okay with whatever we have currently. Might as well get more political power. There's really no point to not get that. That's so good. Uh, yeah, so here. Hold on. So the highly industrialized economy. The invasion of Gibraltar. Oh, civilian so Spain don't mix. Oh, crap. Hey, at least there's something going on in 1960. Great. Oh, shnikes. A gearing economy, minus 5% con consumer goods. I mean, I guess it might make some sense that we have highly industrialized economy in which hurts our consumer goods factories. But... 15%, man? I don't know. Wh wh okay, look at that. What happened here? That's a little thick. Better nuclear reactors, we could do that. But let's go ahead and grab some more civilian factories. Concentrated industry, great. And actually, what does this improve? Where does it improve the roads? Sud Ostpreußen, so Southeast Prussia. Cool. Construct. Hmm. Are these peaceful chemical weapons? Peaceful? Yes. Yes. Send support. Um. Sure. Why not? Slovox. Norway. Probably don't need Norway. Oh, look at that. Nice little helicopter. Over here. Let's go do this one to get some transistor computing. You get three percent more research speed, which isn't bad, but it's only 3%. I would like to get more award support, but I don't think that's really going to happen. Uh, keep telling about the greatness of Germany overseas. That would be great. We currently get 2.05, but once the public exhibitions are gone, we get 1.59, which still ain't bad. Colabras, cool. Uh, let's see. 1960, Mazo do Hammer Retarder. 5% more soft attack overall. No problem with me, man. Hero's Day, great. Lower you by five, maybe? Yeah, let's go do that. Sweat makes profit, great. And encourage the market. While we have worked arduously to implement reforms that have established a more free and hands-off market, the few major corporations we've been attracted or receptive to our efforts. Wishing to not be seen as an embarrassment or an outright failure in the plans, Goring has spent the last few days intensely meeting with the heads of several industrial conglomerates, chief financiers of major banking groups, and key stockbrokers across various exchanges in the country. The main goal of his meetings has been the encouragement of private businesses to gradually wean themselves from the model they have been so used to under the previous governments, and more warm up to the new government's reforms and changes. Goring has gone so far as to offer direct subsidies to the corporations if they see profit losses upon adaptation to the new model, surely as an effort to curry favor. Regardless, the fear is careful assur assurances have seemed to bear fruit, as more companies and stockbrokers have been injecting cash into private businesses than seen previously. Even more construction speed. Great! What the hell are we doing with the pairing all the time? Do we not get this done fast enough? I'm sure I had these guys wanting to train, but... Oh, wait, maybe they don't even repair that fast, but... At the same time, like, what's going on, man? I told some of these guys to train, but... Are they all... Are they still all waiting to get repaired? They might be. Holy crap. I'm not even training them anymore. That is... That's a little nuts, not gonna lie. That's a little nuts. We could use more chromium, too. Good. It takes so long to... Eh, that's actually... Five days isn't too bad. That's not too bad, either. Attack subs. Yep. Look how fast they go. Good, 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 good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. How many... How many have to... Re so many things have to repair. Jesus. How they hate this? Holland? I mean, that's nice and all, but... Wow. Hey, look at that. Look at those factories. Nice. Good stuff. And you know what? We don't have to really... Actually, how does the GDP work? Because America is getting higher and higher GDP, but so are we. Oh, Britain has fallen so far. They're a little below Italy. What happened? And India. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Heroes Day. That's fine. You know, things come and go. That's okay. Train if you need to. Uh, with our infantry. Do we have enough artillery yet? Oh, let's pause it. No. I do want to replace a lot of the guns with more artillery, so that'd be good to do. Resource efficiency gain, military factory stuff, we can wait on that. Let's go ahead, uh, let's see, mass production, cap growth, only 5% more cap, retention is okay, 10% more growth, you get 5% more base, which is kind of okay. Get more output here with mass production, that'd be good to do. Uh, send some German support. We support our guys out. You know what? Can we just do it, everyone? 
Oh, oh no, we can just keep doing it over and over and over and over again. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I don't know if we could do it over and over and over again, but apparently we can. Motorized is looking finally pretty good. Overseas evidence is gone, and that's okay. Ah. <sighs> How is the construction of our civilian factories going? It's, it's definitely going. May Day. Very good. Thank you, workers. Thank you very much. You'll be done still by June, which is okay. Which should be okay for me, honestly. I'm okay with just kind of working on this for a while. At least we're building. And actually, hold on. We should, we should look. If we build up a civilian factory, does that increase our GDP? 1960. Go ahead and do a better radar station over the horizon radar. That'd be great. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more encryption. So, shift registers. Thank you very much. Let's keep this open. Keep this open. Uh, actually, wrong one. I always mess that up. Not bad. That's looking pretty good. So, by in a few weeks, we'll know if, the, if we get more factories, the GDP does increase. Once we encourage more of the market. Uh, actually, 241. Because now we got minus 5% more. Awesome. Grand Twitch is here. Fund the bomb. I really don't want to do this because it hurts the 5% more consumer goods factories. Well, we have to do it. So many things in the Reich operate as, on a work-as-needed basis. While some have joined out, this, is, this has its own benefits. The prevalence of negatives is far greater. Since the relative calm after the war, production of all manners of air equipment, be it fuselages, engines, tools, and even cockpit weaponry, cockpit weaponry, has been sluggish. Our request for parts can be sent down to the run of a mill factory, and the blasted wait time stretches us into month-long intervals, sometimes even more than that. Utterly ridiculous. A quick fix to whip the sorry state of affairs into shape is to simply implement quotas for all manners of air production. By ensuring that each factory meets a set of quotas and parts, we can once again begin to see more smooth timeline of planes simply not seen since the war. 341. Now with 5% more, look at that! We actually have two runs right now! That's awesome! So the GDP still hasn't changed, but once we make this factory, which will be done by in like a little more than a week, we should do pretty darn well. Hammers, very good, very good. Let's go ahead and get some MG dry. More attack, or more defense, I mean, and breakthrough. Alright, alright. We're gonna get airline strikes first, so let's get that one done. With combined blitz. More soft attack, hard attack, and division speed. Not bad, I like that. Alright, let's go over there. Construction. It's almost done. 241. Does making a civilian factory increase your GDP, or is it just random? Well, it's not random. I mean, France has a higher GDP than the UK. Oh, Italy's fallen again a little more. Uh, actually, let me go over this. Okay, so it does look like if, well, it's kind of hard to tell since I opened it and closed it. It does look like if you build a civilian factory, it does slowly, slightly increase your GDP. Slightly. Now, GDP probably has no real effect right now, but uh, it it does have an effect uh, to a degree. Malaysia's doing pretty well. Japan's doing pretty well as well. Uh, let's see. Portugal's not doing bad. Hungary, of course. South Africa, Romania. Even Ukraine isn't doing too bad. Or Muscovine. Huh. South Korea, yeah, they're not quite there yet. That's okay. Not bad. Look at that. Now we're going to hurt ourselves again, of course, with the factories. And plus 5% more consumer goods that we're not going to get, which really sucks. But it is what it is. Another art exhibit. Thank you. Region-wide integration. You might as well. Cool. Very good. Build, 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 build. Oh my goodness. Just build out the wazoo. If I could build stuff faster, that'd be great. Consumer goods factories. No. I love the artillery attack, but... Military factory is great. We don't have enough resources for what we what we really need though, which really just garbage. Uh, I don't want to make any more of this. You know what? I'm done making IFEs. We're done. Share the wealth. More factories. We need more steel. We need. What are we on? Oh, we didn't get rid of this. Oh yeah, I should have got rid of this a while ago. But I love the construction speed. Go to limit exports for. Oh, hold on. Is that? Oh, it's the same one. Ah, oh, do I go? It doesn't matter which one I go. Let's go with. Maybe just go to export focus first. Let's see what happens. We got enough political power. I don't really care. And was it changed to? Does it change at all? 38. Um. Does it. Just, mm. That did change. Okay, it did change. So that means we can produce things faster. We get like 10% slow, slower construction speed. It is what it is. But now we have more resources to work with, namely steel and tungsten. Yeah, steel's gonna look really good now. Even though we're still out of rubber, which. Just German things around here. So now you're gonna wait until July 15th, so a little more than about a week and a half. That's fine with me. Uh, chemical. That's fine. We can wait on that. Yeah, I wish we had a factor that gives us more consumer goods or something else here. But we must continue on with the focuses. Streamline air production. <clears throat> Combined with the same quotas on air production comes with the arduous task of streamlining the manufacturing of planes and their speedy equipment itself. The process is overall efficient, but not as speedy as it should be as it's shaping up to be. A normal Heinkel, for example, can take a whole month to complete, from the welding of the fuselage all the way down to the finishing quality assurances tests. When in reality, this process can be 
easily have two weeks shaved off of it. By employing a new tricks, a few tricks, and simplifying various aspects of the production, we can ensure an even more efficient and speedy process bring more planes and air equipment out of the Luftwaffe without hampering overall quality. Our Führer Goring is a man, or fat man, is a man wholly committed to finding efficiency and pouncing at the opportunity whatever it presents itself. It's only natural that we commit to such a commendable mindset. Air accident chance is good. Great. Great. Now we look over here. Oh, no. Oh, why do you hurt me? Why? Oh, wait. Fourth deportations are gone now. Great. But, oh, 19. Oh, why? Only six more? Mass productions? Uh, that'd be very good. Uh, let's see. Cool. Just one moment. Good, 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 good. We did that. Great. Resource efficiency gain. We might as well try that. Very good. That'd be quite ideal with me. I know this video has gone on long enough, but I just want to make sure we get through as much as possible. These focuses take a while. I don't think there's another tree behind this one, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Who's over here? Stability? That's not bad. Actually, can I replace him? No. Is available or selectable? Oh, hold on. Yeah, actually, I can replace him. We get more political power, but, you know, it's okay. No. Hadrish. Oh, I wish we could choose Hadrish. I don't know why. I like... I like Hadrish? Is, mm, I don't know if I could really say that. He's, in, he's interesting. Oh, wait. Freisler. Consumer goods. We'd lose resistance drug and stability. Uh, but that's not really a concern. Minus 2%. Uh, I'm looking for anyone that helps us with consumer goods. Wow, corrupt kleptocrat. Nauman? Get out of here. You're garbage. Geisla. Anyone else? No. 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 Uh, actually, that's not too bad. A political person. That's, that's actually not too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and choose this person. Freisler. Yes. Yes. Okay, that does help us. Great. Great, we lost some stability, but 95% we're doing pretty well. Sweat makes profits, cool. Oh, encryption, nice. Promises of peace, we could do that. Eh, I don't really want to do that now, since we heard our factories enough. Over horizon radar, let's grab some decryption. And let's grab some comparted guidance radar. Beautiful things, I know. MG3s, cool. Good. And waiting for to exhibit more things here. Other than that, we're doing pretty darn well with everything here. How is it war between... Oh, can I send volunteers to you? You, you guys are still fascists, right? So, <clears throat> I wonder if I could say anything to them. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Let's not do that. Mountaineers might be okay. Support companies. Let's get some better engineers, maybe? Military police it is. Oh, we can suppress even better. Come on, Spain. Don't let them invade. Don't do well. Uh, you know what? We could probably send attache. You know what? We might as well. Send them, help them out. Let's we'll see what's going on. That's the least we can do. Uh, UK, you, who are you led by? Social Democrats, Geitskel. Okay. That's a lot of manpower. That's a lot of manpower. You are on all adult serve. You guys are on excessive conscription with more than enough. Uh, UK-wise, they probably have more fuel. Nope, they're out of fuel. They have a lot of convoys, but they're out of fuel. Quality design. So when examining methods for streamlining air production and testing whether or not they guarantee a safety or speedy completion, the most aspect, important aspect is to ensure the quality designs remain at the core of each state of production. An airplane that is completely completed half the rate as normal must be rigorously tested in all manners of things to confirm that it's safe for piloting. After all, it would not only be a tragedy to see, to see men die at the expense of something faulty within the aircraft, but also an embarrassment to our reforms with such a regard, which would only hurl insults and condemnations our way. Along the list, it must all factor into the propaganda value. Quality and tested tested designs for aircraft can be harnessed as a testament to the ingeniousness of German engineering, while also making the factory workers proud that what they've assembled at such a glorious machine by their own hands. Or attack, agility, good stuff. Good stuff. Now I feel like we don't have enough political power, which we don't, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. Keep making those factories. We're doing a great job. I Oh, hell. Oh, crap. America. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. If America can get involved, why can't I get involved? They're fighting the OFN. No, it's not OFN. The Toronto Accords. That is... Well, okay, at this point, I think I should be able to send volunteers, man. Come on, that's not cool. I want to send volunteers. Can't send attaché. Good luck, Spain. I mean, what? I mean, they took out Barcelona, which isn't good for Spain. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. How are they holding out against the... How are you guys holding out? They must be like 40 combat with or something. I mean, I guess Spain isn't like, you know, regarded as a major, major, major extreme power. What's going on, though? Spanish-Belgian War. How have they taken more losses? Yeah, I don't know about this, man. Oh, they look like they were going to win here, but... If the Toronto Accords is attacking Europe, especially with a state like Spain that's still fascist, that still has, as we saw earlier, high German influence, Germany's got to have some sort of thing to intervene. 
right? I mean, maybe it's this, the whole de-escalation thing that I need to get to, but uh, let's get rubber processing first. There's got to be something, right? Oh, public exhibition would be great. It's probably under the focus here that we could probably do de-escalation. Confident government, yeah. We have a lot of focuses to complete tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to extend this a little bit longer. Oh my god, America, what are you doing? Do you have, like, no manpower left, Spain? They have no war support. Hmm. <clears throat> then again, they did, they were the aggressors trying to take out Gibraltar, but... I don't know. We'll see what happens. Increasing. Still not bad. 251. It's better than before, so... Quality designs. Uh, trade. Uh, trade deal factor. Not really much we can do here. More war support, less stability. Decryption. Emergency council. No, we good. Yeah, there's not really much we can do here, which is fine. Goebbels, we probably want to... If I fire him, does he, like, rebel against us? He might. Uh, yeah, I probably can't get that guy. He's probably dead. Quality designs. Maintain the speed. Above all, the rate at which we execute the four-year plans must be maintained steadily. Slowing down at any point risks runs a risk of jeopardizing our hard work and efforts which results in embarrassments at best and another economic disaster at worst. Because of these potential consequences, we must arduously watch the quotas being maintained, the factories continue pumping out equipment at a reasonable level, and that the workers continue to may remain focused and undeterred. We must not fall or stumble in our mission. A blow to the four-year plan's productiveness is a blow to our enduring ideology of the National Socialism. Any slip-up is practically tempts the degenerates and Judea Bolsheviks to sabotage our nation and the Aryan people. Maintain the speed. Can we go any faster? Any faster? Overseas testimony. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, we might as well. I mean, we could do that. Yeah, I guess we might as well do that. Nice. At least we got another factory done. Great. It'll be done by May 61, which is going to take a while, but whatever. Spain is not having a good time. Yeah, I don't know. If uh, With America intervening like this, they should really get more less war support, because they're literally attacking Europe again. I know it, Spain went to war with them, but... What, even Italy not do anything? They're still fascist, so... Would they really allow these guys to do anything around here? I don't know. What's China up to? Reorganize the NRA, the National Revolutionary Army. The, oh, crap. Oh, that is not good. Oh, what did you do, Chen Cheng? Oh, you're not even fascist anymore. You're conservative. Change reforms, the new NRA. Change reforms. Experimental naval missiles. Cool. Compartmented guidance radars. Uh, let's get some edge detections. That'd be great. I'm not sure why Radar 2 isn't there, but no, eh, whatever. That's fine. Industry. Let's grab some better fuel because we just because we can. Yeah, I think that'd be a really good thing to do. Promises of peace. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Why would we want peace when we see the Toronto Accords being extremely violent towards Spain when Spain just wanted their territory back? It is what it is. Cool. Uh, military place two. Great or three? I mean three. Better engineers because we could use more entrenchment and better river attack and defense. That's good. We got another tank. Great. You guys take forever to train, though. My goodness. Anti-tank good. Artillery's looking not too bad either. Motorized, not bad. Spain meets mutual demilitarization. Recent relations between Spain and Germany have become smoother compared to our history. As the Spanish government has started today pursue, pursued a pro-German foreign policy several months ago. Today, a document from Spain arrived detailing Spanish willingness to put aside our differences and start German-Spanish cooperation in this decade. One of the first steps to putting our differences aside is mutual respect for each other's sovereignty by ending the high military presence in the Pyrenees and the French-Spanish border. They propose demilitarization has caught the idea of the Führer as an interesting way to calm relations between the two nations. Let's do it. Demilitarization. Um... I mean, I guess we're kind of going down that path. We might as well, even though I'm sorry, but the French state really isn't under us too much. They're kind of independent to a degree. They've been isolated from the rest of the world, but they're kind of independent, so. And I guess that was kind of a mistake, because they've already capitulated. Hmm. And they're going to come out as a puppet. Not ideal. Quite not ideal, I would say. Motorized is looking pretty good. Could get better planes. Could get maybe this better, but hmm. I want more of this, but we can't really afford it. Maintain the speed, great. Overseas evidence is gone. Germany's unique system. Through our combined efforts, countless days of hard work, many sleepless nights spent in offices without lights on, configuring many sectors of the economy and promulgating a policy 
uh, changes to foster the free market, Germany has shifted a good amount of ways away from the old system of years past. Previously, a clearly identified cut and dried economic system has blossomed into a unique and diverse economic model that achieved the great changes and benefit by simply looking to the policies that worked in the decades past. Through an occasionally watchful central government that has carefully let go of its guiding hand upon the private sector, we have maintained a balance that other nations should arguably strive for. The boons to our economy, large and plentiful, the propaganda value worth its weight in gold. This solution of that very impact. Interesting. Oh, God. That really sucks. But I think this video has gone on long enough. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, India has its own faction. Consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, in which we will try to blaze through as many focuses as fast as possible, and see what happens with the rest of the world. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day!